Hello and welcome again to Cody's Radio Workshop. On the bench today we have another Robert Says, another surprise. This is the transistor model R200 and let's just say it used to be a model R200. Well it kind of still is but look at the years of applied beauty. Um, it's had a life. Um, yeah. So this one's going to be a bit of a challenge. I will start, although I've already started, but I will start by just going through the things that I know will have to be done to this to resurrect it into something resembling what it used to resemble. Um, first things first, the handle. Uh, the leather has gone off the handle, but the handle is still intact, so I might be able to come up with something for that. Pop that out of the way. We've got the knobbage on the top. Uh, we've got these two. They do have cracks running through them, so they'll have to get replaced. Uh, the volume one is missing completely, and obviously there are no brights on the top of those either. The dial face has these lovely green stickers, which I guess we use as some sort of station marker. And the dial itself, well the dial uh, cover there is absolutely rinky dinky filthy, as is the rest of the radio. Perhaps I should really have gloves on, however, it is what it is. But just look at this, it, you know, the Roberts badge, let's have a look, I might be able to resurrect the original one to look something like, uh, but this grill dinted obviously but it's also got a battle scar here it's been stabbed with something at some point um, the colour the finish it's got paint spatter all over it and it's worn through on the corners etc etc looking at the back again it's the same this will need either recovering or refinishing in some way shape or form uh, the sides the same looking inside yeah inside we've got the dreaded AF117 germanium transistors the three there one two three and we've got the Plessy caps uh, capacitors here which are one two three four five of those Hunt capacitors, they'll need to get changed too. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I think there is of those. So they'll need to get changed for the set to work. Tuning capacitor on the inside, there are three rubber grommets at the top. They will have, let me have a feel, yet yeah, they've gone hard and brittle, so they'll need changed out as well. There are three grommets on there. Uh, so, yep. Yeah. Battery snaps, I'm amazed that these are actually still intact given the state of the rest of the radio. Uh, I will take out the radio obviously to get the electrical work done but I will also remove the circuit board from the uh, chassis, from, from the metal work here and I am going to cold galve this, this metal um, to make it appear a lot fresher than it actually does it's only got and I'm surprised at this too but it's only got a tiny bit of rust in that corner so I could just scrub that up and it would look acceptable but I'm going to town on this radio and I'm going to make it something um, pretty amazing so uh, speaker roller speaker made in England obviously uh, the ferrite rod the, for the medium long wave re uh, reception, that's actually in one piece and intact, so that's good. The hinge on the side is actually quite bright and shiny and hasn't rusted or pitted too much. On the inside of the back door, the positive for the external aerial has come adrift from the actual socket, so we should be able to sort that too. And that should be about it for those of you playing along at home. Here is the label, Roberts Radio Core Limited, very important, essentially in any inquiry regarding this receiver to quote model and serial numbers. Well, the model is the R200 and the serial number for this particular set is serial number V for Victor 156945. And that is it. Now, 
as I say, it is going to be a heck of a challenge, but I do like the fact that it is a challenge, and I want to be able to just prove that if you've got one of these kicking around in your cupboards at home, or, or inherited from a family member, and it looks like this, and you think, oh, what am I going to do with that? You don't have to throw it in landfill. It is possible to resurrect these things. There is a cost attached to it, but realistically, it's not an awful lot of money. What you will spend a lot of time doing um, when you're doing all of this stuff is spending a lot of time actually doing it. You know, the capacitors and the transistors, or the transistors that I'm going to be using, I'm going to take out the germanium ones and I'm going to replace them with a modern equivalent silicon transistor, uh, or three of... Uh, replace these electrolytic capacitors and the Hunt capacitors with their modern equivalents and I will also take out all of the resistors and change those again for their modern equivalents. Uh, then I will tune it up, I will peak it up and do the alignment on the set to make it work the very best that it can. Then move on to the actual casework. I haven't decided yet whether I'm going to attempt to recover this, which is actually possible, and I do have some of the original covering uh, on a roll which came from Ratchford's, which is not too far from me, a company very close to Manchester that used to supply this to the cabinet makers uh, who made these cabinets for Roberts. Uh, that was A.E. Kevin's back in the day, but I do have some original cover. They're not particularly easy to cover these because of all the joints, the cuts and the mitres that have to be made, um, you know, to get them around the corners and the, it's not easy. The alternative option is to clean the case down um, as very much as I can. Um, using all sorts of different cleaners and sugar soap uh, get every tiny bit of grease and stuff off it then key it back completely and respray it um, I will look at what I could possibly do with this handle I might be able to once I've recovered this is use some of the same material and get out the Cody's sewing machine and actually remake this handle I'll replace the knobs and we should then be almost good to go except for um, making these uh, handle ends shiny. So yeah, that's what's got to come. Uh, it's going to be a bit of a challenge but do join me on the journey. Uh, there will be several videos on this up and coming but this is just the initial let's have a look and see what the heck he's going to do. And that is what the heck I'm going to do. So there we go, thanks very much for watching, like and subscribe and I will catch you in the next one. Bye for now.